she warned him not to be deceived by appearances, for beauty is found within. Hey guys, so today I'm back to do my first Halloween tutorial of the season. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get to do another one, but this one, I have been brewing this in my head for a while. There's so many looks out there that are like a dual face. And I was watching the new Beauty and the Beast the other day and um, like the next day it like clicked with me. I was like, oh my God, I have to be the old beggar woman slash enchantress. I think it would be amazing. I don't think anybody has done it that I have seen. So yeah, it didn't really come out exactly how I was picturing, but I did my best to make this side look like old and you know, not pleasant, and then this side to be like a beautiful, powerful enchantress. So I'm really digging it. Oh, there goes my hood. Um, so I'm really digging it. I don't have like a full studio or anything like that, like a lot of other YouTubers, but I did my best. So um, if you guys want to see how to get this look, keep watching. I will mention all of the products that I use below, but everything's going to be like very swappable. So for this look, you basically just need regular makeup. You don't need any special effects stuff. Just a lot of different colored eyeshadows, some gold glitter, and yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> So to start, I'm going to be taking the Bioderma Sensibio H2O, which is their famous micellar water. I love this stuff. It cleanses the skin and reduces any kind of redness that you have. So it's great for sensitive skin. Next, I'm taking the Bioderma Sensibio Light Moisturizer for normal to combination skin. And this is going to hydrate my skin and create a nice canvas for makeup application. Next, I'm just applying my foundation as I normally would, just putting it everywhere, and then I'm going to follow it up with concealer. So I'm just doing my regular kind of makeup foundation routine with foundation and concealer. Then, of course, make sure to set everything with translucent powder because we are going to be doing quite a bit to the face after this and you don't want your foundation or concealer sliding around on you. So I'm going to start with the pretty enchantress side. So go ahead and do your brows as you normally would. I'm just using a dark brown brow pencil. So now I'm going to start off with the eyeshadow. I'm just putting a light warm brown into my crease. Then I'm taking a medium warm tone brown and I'm going to be putting this on both corners of the eye. So the inner corner and the outer corner to kind of create a halo effect. Then I'm just doing the same thing with a dark espresso brown color just to deepen it up and make it a little bit more dramatic. Next, I'm doing basically the same thing to the lower lash line, deepening up both the inner and outer corners and then leaving the center of the lower lash line bare. So we're just going to do the halo effect on the lower lash as well. Next, just take a creamy ivory shade and put that underneath your brow bone to highlight and accentuate the arch of your brow. Next, I'm taking a gold eyeshadow and I am packing this onto the center of the lid again to accentuate the halo effect. So do it on both the upper and lower lash lines. Then I'm going in with a gold glitter liner and just applying it kind of just a little bit down underneath my lower lash line and then I'm going to be putting it all over the lid as well. Then I am applying with lash glue some star shaped glitter and then aligning my upper and lower with black liner and then I'm adding some highlight underneath the brow bone and my inner corner. 
then go ahead and apply your favorite lashes. Next, I'm just taking some bronzer and contouring my face a bit, the cheeks, jawline, and forehead. Next, I'm going in with a pink blush and then highlighting my cheekbones and temple area. Now I'm moving on to the other half of the face, the old beggar woman. I am applying white eyeliner into my brows and lashes so it appears that I am old with white hair. <laughs> I'm just using some bronzer to kind of hollow out my face and make it look a little bit sunken in. So I'm doing that kind of like up in the forehead and the temple area as well as underneath the cheekbones. Now I am just adding some wrinkles to my forehead just using again like a dark grayish brown for these wrinkles. Next, I'm going to add some of those wrinkles to the nose and to the cheek area to make it look like I have kind of like sagging cheeks. And then again, I'm going back to the brow and nose and just kind of defining these wrinkles from expressions and the bags under my eyes, all that. This is basically what I'm going to look like when I'm old. <laughs> And then you can't forget those crow's feet, so just extend some wrinkles out to the corners of your eyes, extending out towards your temple area. And then I'm going in and adding some lip lines or lip wrinkles. Then I just added some white eyeliner to those wrinkles to make them look a little bit more 3D. I'm doing the same thing with a brown eyeshadow to kind of deepen them up and soften them up, as well as adding some darkness to the inner corner of my eye to make it just look really sunken in. So basically just repeat those steps, add more dimension until it looks how you want it. Then just add some liquid lipstick to the other half because I forgot to do that and you will be done. So just throw on a blonde wig, add a hood, add a crown, and grab yourself a rose, add some sparkly earrings, and you will be good to go. So I hope you guys like it. I thought it was pretty cool. I enjoyed doing this and I hope you guys like it. Then to remove everything, I'm going back in with that Sense of Bio H2O on a cotton pad and removing everything. This stuff is amazing. I love micellar waters and this is why. It just everything comes off pretty much effortlessly. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you to Bioderma for partnering with me for this Halloween tutorial. And I will see you guys soon. Happy Halloween.